Hachette Audio presents Daylight Written by David Baldacci Read by Brittany Presley and Keith Brewer To Ron Kunihiro who has the heart of a lion and is loved and respected by all who know him. Chapter 1 Now is the moment of reckoning. FBI Special Agent Atlee Pine was sitting in her rental car outside of Andersonville, Georgia, with her assistant, Carol Blum, next to her. She hit the name on her contact list and listened to the phone ringing. Pine, how nice of you to call. The dripping with sarcasm voice said into her ear. The man speaking was the FBI's top dog in Arizona, Clint Dobbs. He was the one who had given Pine permission to take a sabbatical in order to find out what had happened to her twin sister, Mercy, who had been abducted from their home in Andersonville 30 years before. Six-year-old Pine had nearly died in the process. Sorry, sir, it's just been a little busy. I understand that you have been extremely busy. You solved a series of murders down there, prevented other killings, nearly got blown up in the process, and discovered something truly remarkable about your past. Hell, the Bureau might owe you a bonus. I take it you've been kept informed through other channels. You could say that, yes, since you have been remarkably uncommunicative. Would that source of info be Eddie Laredo? Laredo was an FBI special agent who had been sent down to Georgia to help in a murder investigation. He and Pine had a history, a complicated one, but she believed they had resolved things. I have multiple sources keeping me informed. What did you find out about your sister's disappearance? When my mother was a teenager, she was a mole in a sting operation involving the mob back in the 80s. One of the guys that went down as a result was a man named Bruno Vincenzo, who was murdered after he went to prison. Bruno had a brother in Jersey named Ito. Apparently, Ito found out what happened and blamed my mother for his brother's death. Somehow, he discovered where we were, came down to Georgia, and kidnapped my sister. Do you have a line on this Ito Vincenzo? Is he even still alive? I checked the state's official online database. There's no record of his death, but he might not have died in New Jersey. I found out that he lived in Trenton. I've got the house address. It's... Sample complete. Ready to continue?